Flower Garden Magnetic Multi-Shape Puncher allows you to make five different punch shapes. And let's take a look at how that works here. We're gonna start by punching a border. This top of your punch is attached by a magnet, so you're just gonna pop it off. We're gonna line up the edge of our border paper with the border stripes at the top here. I'm gonna start off to one side. The punch just snaps in shape over the top. We're gonna press down firmly on the top and then lift off the top of our punch here. We've got a nice punched shape and we're gonna line that up over this border design to the side. That little pink icon of the leaf just pops right through to hold it in place there. We're gonna line up the other edge here with the top of that border. Snap our punch back into place and repeat. So we're gonna go all the way across the side here. Just keep lining it up along that one edge. And you will see as we get to the end of our punch here, that the top of that paper comes right off, revealing our nice clean border edge. And let me get a lighter background in here so you can really see that edge. And we've got a perfect border. That magnetic system makes it really easy to punch your border so you can just snap it right into place. Now let's take a look at how to punch a circle. The cool thing with this punch with the magnetic system is that you don't need to line your paper up along the edge. You can really punch anywhere on the paper you want. So let's start here. We're going to just snap our punch into place, make our first punch, and now we're going to rotate to the right. There's an icon on the side here for making six inch or four inch circles. Let's do the four inch circle here. We're going to line it up always keeping that brown leaf icon centered here. And we'll snap the punch back into place. Now this punch system does work best on thin, lighter weight patterned papers. It's not ideal for cardstock, although you could make that work if you wanted to put in a little extra effort. It does work wonderfully though on these lighter weight pattern papers. And I'm showing you here these punches using the 8x8 retro papers. Here we've got a circle punch and you can see you could make these circles. The six inch circle is a little bigger. Let me get a darker background here. And you've got that fun edge along the side. Now we've used a pattern paper here with a design in the background. You can use solid papers or light patterns like this. Um, and of course, the emphasis is on the shape around the edge. Let's take a look now at how to make an oval. We're gonna use a slightly different technique. First thing is to line up our paper with the oval positioner. We're gonna make sure that our paper is parallel to that position. So you've got this line here. You want to make sure that the edge of your paper is parallel. Once that punch is in place, you can just kind of rotate your paper a little bit to get it lined up. It takes a little more effort than the circle to start off with, but we're going to make that first punch now. And once we've got our first punch, we're going to move to the left to the five inch oval indicator here and we're going to line it up. We're looking for the little blue icon this time. We're going to do our second punch lined up with that and as well our third will also be in line with that blue icon. If you happen to think you didn't punch it hard enough, you can always just punch it again while it's still lined up on there. The next punch, our fourth punch, we're going to line up along the bottom with this oval punch. So we're taking that first punch that we did, lining it up here on the bottom. That's going to create our oval. And now we're going to go back to using the punch at the top here. So lining our fourth punch up there. And continuing on around with our last punches. 
what we end up with is an oval shape. And let me get this out of the way so you can see it a little better. You've got a nice oval that you could use as a frame. And you can see that border continues all the way around. And if you want to take a look here, you could also use this outer part as a frame. If you were to cut it a little bigger on the edges there, you would end up with a perfect frame. And then the matching oval. This punch can also be used to make a variety of squares. Let's take a look here. I'm using a lightly patterned paper here. I'm going to line it up along the top edge. And we're going to punch once if we want a small square. But let's make a slightly larger square. We're going to use the border system here to make a second punch. And then we're going to turn our paper and we're going to be lining it up along the edge here that says square. We're going to be looking for that little orange icon. So I'm going to put it in place. And again, since we did two on the first side, we're going to do two on this second side here. And we're going to rotate again. And we'll continue. We're looking again for that orange icon for the square. And we'll keep going and punch our next border. So you can make a square any size you want. You can make a rectangle and just keep going on one of those sides. You have lots of possibilities to make the perfect size square for whatever items you're working with. And our last punch here. You'll notice that square comes right out of the center. So we've got that square shape. We've also got a square frame if we were looking to frame a photo. So again, every time you make a punch, you've also got the coordinating frame. Perfect two for one. And that square is pretty easy to make. Last but not least, you could also use this punch to create corners. So let's take a look here. You can line it up to make a small corner, just that, the very tip of the design, or a larger corner. Let's line it up so that our, the tip of our paper is right at the edge of this magnet here. And we're just going to snap the punch back on, create our first corner. And we're just going to do that on every corner of our paper. This is an easy way to add a quick and delicate accent to your picture frames or your matting on journaling or other accents for your page. Again, we're using 8 by 8 papers here, but you could also use this punch system on any size paper. And again, you get that lovely effect of that corner punch here. So lots of ways to use this punch squares, ovals, circles. You get the frame on the outside as well. And you can really use this in a variety of ways. It's super easy to use. That magnetic system is very intuitive and user-friendly. So lots of possibilities to decorate your projects.